Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're on lesson 31. It's going to be a quick one. We're going to talk about the is and the as operator. So let's go ahead and scroll down and skip what we did last lesson. And we're going to see I added a few lines of code. Now, what is does and what as does is ultimately it checks to see if you know file is or implements iStorable and the file can be cast as iStorable. So let's just go back and think of a few lessons ago we had an array of objects and we used polymorphism to um, you know to go through there and we didn't know what type of um, you know what type of object it was. Now in this scenario we might have a bunch of classes and objects and we don't know if they implement a certain interface or not that's what this is for. So for instance if file one is or implements iStorable, it'll return true. So it implements iStorable. Now the key difference between as is as actually tries to do the cast. So um, it tries to cast file two as iStorable, and if it does not go through, it'll return null. So um, then we can simply just take my iStorable, uh, iStorable, my iStorable, we cast file 2 as iStorable and we can read that. So I'll go ahead and run through this and see if it works. Okay, the last one we have is read, reading, okay. Now, if we begin where we left off, if file 1 is iStorable, which file 1 does implement iStorable, it will return true and we'll say implements iStorable. And then the next line is um, can the file type be cast as iStorable? And we know it can be. And it'll go down to here at work because it did not pass back, it did not return null. And then finally, we just try using uh, my storable just to make sure that it works and it does work. So um, that's pretty much it for this lesson. I wanted to make it short and sweet. I've only got a few minutes of time here but I'm trying to continue that lesson a day thing. So if you have any questions about this, please go over to uh, Nextar TV and join our um, development community group, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.